so the original con art crew was like the immediate artists that I was somehow connected with, West Coast artists, uh, Camp and Stop crew, uh, some of the uh, like heads from LOD. Um, it, uh, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, we've worked with, you know, so many different crews, uh, TGO, um, there was uh, UTI, uh, anyway, um, <laughs> PJ and Minor were, uh, you know, definitely like killing it out in LA or whatever, they were definitely big inspirations to me, PJ was one of the, um, you know, like catalyst that kind of sparked the concept of con art. So I really feel like, you know, I took what PJ was doing and, and mass marketed it. Mm -hmm. PJ was airbrushing like one-off originals, denim jackets, sweatshirts, and um, I had a couple that I owned that some of my crew stole from me because they was mm -hmm. that fly. Let them sleep over my crib and woke up and so gone. <laughs> um, and uh, I was watching these masterpieces go out the door for like 35 bucks, you know, I'm just like, fuck, I wanted that jacket, you know, like whatever. So, you know, um, the concept of reproducing it so everybody could get one. The first, yeah, pretty much. And so the first, uh, the first design that I did was a one color graphic that PJ drew. It was a character of me when I had dreadlocks throwing up a peace sign with a con art uh, letter scheme behind me, 1989. Um, I spent $100, made up a dozen black and white t-shirts, so a white t-shirt with a black image on it, took it to school, gave it out to 12 of my friends, all of them, like, you know, all of them went crazy for it, and then all of their friends wanted one. Wow. But I couldn't afford to give them to everybody, so I made up another batch and started slanging them in school, and uh, took them down the street to this, uh, like, t-shirt Oh, which, which store. high school did you go to? Okay, well, I went to uni, but I would diss that shit like every fucking day <laughs> and go and hang out with my people at Fairfax. Yeah. Like, literally, I could hang out in classes at Fairfax. Like, I was there so much. And Beverly High, too. Same shit. Like, I could go up in classrooms and hang out. They thought I went there. The security <laughs> and everybody knew me. That's like, crazy. oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm surprised I didn't make it in any of the yearbooks. I dropped out of 10th grade. Yeah. I was 16 years old and immediately started doing con art. And I feel like I got a head start on everybody that was kind of stuck, you know, kind of having to go through that process. Like I learned the fundamentals, you know, to, to be able to communicate uh, the basics, but um, everything else is kind of like street knowledge, just uh, firsthand experience. Um, for me, fashion was bloodline. So my mother was a designer, my father was an artist, my grandmother was an artist. Um, so this was all just kind That's of so like, yeah, I couldn't, I could not do this. This is what I love. This is my high. For me, creating something, seeing it become a physical manifestation and somebody appreciating that shit and rocking it. And, you know, it's like, that's the, it's all about the love. I never cared about the money. Hip hop, to me, a lot of the rappers like Big and the Woo and that's, you know, kind of what, for whatever reason, what I was checking for. I just wasn't really into gangster rap. Now, there was a lot of rap coming out of the West Coast that wasn't gangster rap. It was kind of like more abstract rap, freestyle fellowship. And we supported them. You know, like we supported a lot of different artists. I mean, gangster and not, but there was, uh, for whatever reason, the success of the East Coast rappers just made it look like. Because nobody ever saw Freestyle Fellowship rocking our shit. Nobody ever saw Sophia rocking our shit. Um, but believe you me, from, you know, Ice-T to N.W.A. to King T to, you know, Sophia to, uh, you know, rappers like Ganja K, Urban Props, um, Rap Pack, you know, there's there's a lot of West Coast artists that that's, that's you know kind of our fan. Uh, so, but I think it was, you know, we were really blessed to have kind of like that whole '90s golden era of rap on lock. 
Okay, well, yeah, we're located on Fairfax, 431 North Fairfax Ave, um, basically just off Melrose, next door to Supreme. Yeah, anyway, so, um, yeah, come through, check it out. Aerosol supplies, urban art. We got a barber shop as well, so we're doing fades and graphics. Kind of our gear pretty much exclusively. We got a couple of other brands coming. Um, rotating kind of art. We're having events like once a month. Check the website, conart.com. Um, the, uh, the line is available. Uh, <laughs> virtually nowhere. So, you know, if you get one, you're lucky. Kind art. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy later. <laughs> <laughs>